Hello drivers, let's go back to Stuntman. The showcase video from last month was not the only video meant to talk about its content, and today will not be the last one as well. Being able to fully drive around the levels of Stuntman has its shares of advantages, for example to spot unused details or simply to better look at the surroundings without the timing pressure. Today falls within the first category with something that was left out from the general showcase of the levels video. The inspection occurs during the second mission of the conspiracy filming, a movie mocking the Time Clancy franchise which is kinda ironic now that Reflection is actually working on Time Clancy video games. Anyway, you are supposed to follow the getaway car on the iced river and you can't depart from this river otherwise the mission ends just like any other missions. But now we can disable the game over trigger and do almost what we want inside the level. So instead of going forward, let's do the opposite and go backward to have a look at the beginning of the level. This is how we can quickly spot a road that seems to lead nowhere, or at least it sharply ends at the mountain side. But now that we have all the time we want, we can go there and see if we will be stopped by the mountain or driving through it and falling in the vault. And none of that actually magnetic. It appears that the mountain is hiding a road that is complete and that will connect to another road visible at the end of the mission. You could think that the road is disappearing at some point, but that's just how the level in Stuntman are loading and some areas will not load before you hit a checkpoint while the previous one will despawn. The road is indeed connecting the road from the beginning to the road you will drive briefly at the end, but a large part of it is inside the mountain for some reasons. So as you can see I went back to the beginning of the mission path because when you come close to the fallen bridge, you will see the objective changing on the HUD and with this one a large part of the level will spawn, including the continuation of a secret hidden road. It must be noted that the mission can't be done on emulators since it is relying on chasing an AI car and as you might know this type of behavior isn't emulated correctly meaning that the car will usually stop where it should not and making the mission impossible to beat. We will have some examples of that buggy behavior later in the video. So we are back on the tracks of our hidden road and as you can see it goes on for a long time, sometimes coming back off the mountain and going back instantly so I have the impression the mountain was placed without taking into account the road as the art team knew it won't make a difference for the player. Since the road is complete, in the sense that no part is missing, the mountain could have been placed differently so it will be shown in entirety. But to be honest, it does not make any difference during the normal gameplay though, as you will never be close enough or have the time to look that the road is going through the mountain. Once again, we have reached the limits of the checkpoint loading and therefore the road looks unfinished, but that's not the case. I even suspect that the collisions are fully loaded no matter the checkpoint's completion and that you could drive in the void without falling in it. It is further confirmed by the fact that sometimes you will hit invisible objects such as cars that are there without being fully loaded, depending on the checkpoints you have triggered. For example, I am now on the bridge you are supposed to avoid in the mission because there are enemies shooting at you with their cars parked behind and that's indeed what I am pushing at the moment to pass through. Let's see how this part is indeed supposed to be played when you are following the mission path. The enemies are there and the cars are not at the exact position they should since I pushed them but you get the idea. The road is therefore briefly visible and only there for decoration but it is interesting to know the layout isn't limited to what the player can see but rather connected throughout the level. Another hint that take a ride mode was considered at some point as script's name uses this expression and it is further suggested by the construction of the levels, far from being shy to let you drive instead of using fake grounds as we could have thought. This level is completely surrounded by the mountains, so take a ride mode could have worked as everything is modeled inside it, but that's far from being the case for all the level of Stuntman. And the road never ends, it even has intersections. Going right will lead you to the mountain area again and at this point of the checkpoint it is mostly this point. 
you may also wonder if this road is really unused and that maybe you drive on it later on in the mission if the script were not broken as they are on PC. And that's what I thought too, so I watched a walkthrough on YouTube and indeed the road is never used. At most it will be seen at the end near the small forest but you will never drive on it as the ending requires you to jump on the cable car acting as a money shot. Here we have passed the ending point and we are near the middle part of the mission next to the ice lake reminding me of a mission in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, once again the road is present and just as in the beginning it's going through the mountain and if you drive in it you can see it's going on a bit before ending. What's also crazy to note, as the world through video showed me, is that this level is pretty huge uh, without any empty zone, but if you do the mission in one attempt, it will take you less than 2 minutes to beat. And of course, you are forced to follow a certain path and you must focus on precise maneuvers on slippery conditions to the, the snow and ice, therefore you will not really enjoy the scenery or just having fun doing a big drift on the ice lake. So it's even more a shame that a free ride option on some levels at least were not possible in the end. And that's a topic we will address with Snoopy in a future video talking about the sheets involved and others findings while exploring the levels using the code, so stay tuned. Now to end this video I will talk about the famous AI buggy behavior as promised at the beginning for the two of you who stayed. Of course it does not happen on PlayStation 2 but maybe it's the case on the first PlayStation 3 version that are retro compatible as they are also emulating the PlayStation 2. Anyway, you can see that the AI car will quickly be stuck because it deviates slowly from its trajectory and since Stuntman is very precise, it can't end well. It's indeed the same problem you may have faced on Driver Tree Replace when the save has been altered and the cars do not act as they should anymore. If I were not using Snoopy Sheet, I would not be able to drive through the levels as the game would think I am too far away from the gateway car and triggering a game over so even the regular paths are not accessible without the cheats. With them it is still hard to correctly trigger the different objectives if, like me, you have not played for a long time the game as it is only on PlayStation 2 and with very long loading. Anyway, I tried to find a regular path myself before watching a world through video and I missed the money shot at the end since I was focused on the road. I am not even sure the cable car script is working as I didn't see it anyway and it's not like the stunts done this way would make a great movie. Next time we will talk about selecting a level with the cheats, the option available to free ride in them and more with Snoopy. In the meantime, I would like to thank my current Red Weaver's driving in motion. In the meantime, I would like to thank my current Red Weaver's driver dimension that come French contact, Neurosins and take on YouTube for their support. You can support the channel starting from one dollar and using custom emojis. The more you will be, the more emojis we can use. And in any case, see you soon drivers. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
down, white boy.